What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Dark Number 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, I'm not exactly sure what happened. We started the investigation, everything. Yep. Now, quick little announcement interruption thingy. I don't know. We started recording the episode after this one, after winter break was over and everything. But we forgot that the files and everything for this episode, which you're watching now, the first time we recorded it got corrupted and all. So we were going to re record it. Well, but we forgot. Then, but we forgot. So we've already recorded the episode after this, and now we're going back and re-recording this episode, and we don't even really remember what happens in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> but we have some information from the following episode. So it's kind of weird. It's a really weird situation, but we're going to try to make the most out of it. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> um, hey, Hinata, can I talk to you for a second? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first. I didn't know it was Ibiki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Which means Ibuki must have died before Sayonji was tied up. Not necessarily. Maybe before she was tied up, but she could have been, Sayonji could have been killed before then. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Mokuma file this time. Yeah, he's making the assumption that time of tying up is the same it's as the time, same time of death. the same time of death, which is not necessarily true. Yeah. yeah. But I should know when Ibuki died, because I personally saw it. That video. That video, though. Get too spooped. Spoopy spoop. <laughs> in that video, Ibuki was climbing the step ladder on her own, so right after that... Wait. Hold on. So what you got, Zo? If Ibuki climbed that step ladder and died right after... Does that mean she committed suicide? No. No, that's impossible. And I mean, like, Ibuki doesn't seem like the person. Yeah, yeah, right? she's very ganky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Sayoji's death afterward. That's true. Two different deaths happen at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. So, I think... Have we inspected the scene yet? I don't think so. Okay. There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. It's clearly not wide enough. It's not reaching from one edge of the stage to the other. Apparently this curtain wasn't originally here. It was originally in the furniture section of the supermarket. So, so it was probably bought by the killer to, to stage, create this, like, scene. stage some sort of like theatrics. Yeah. Which means someone took the time to actually bring this curtain from the supermarket. If they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Mm hmm. Hmm. I wonder if... During the video, the curtain was closed, right? Yeah. When we got when we got back in here, was the curtain open or closed? The first oh, time. Oh, when we were first time, I don't. I don't remember. Um. I don't remember. Yeah. But if it were open, that would be a big deal. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. What's next? The step ladder. Actually, leave the step ladder. Don't worry. We'll get to you eventually, Nanami. <laughs> um, the step ladder that's tipped over on its side. Yes. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Why does it look so green, by the way? I think it looked like that from the beginning, because it's the feed from the yeah. camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's any particular. Gotcha. There's a small amount of blood on the left side of the stepladder. Ibuki shouldn't have had any external injuries, so that bloodstain is probably Sionji's. But why would Sionji's blood be on there? Because she was killed right by it. Yeah. Um, I want to be able to pull back the curtains. Do we want to... Let's take a look at the candle. candle. There's a massive candle position here, uh, position near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. But yeah, then the question is who put it out? Yeah. Right? Well, the candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Unless that would have revealed something going on behind the scenes or the light. The like, um, let's take a look the at the bag, or... <laughs> and we'll get to the body. Sad faces. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why does she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's Monomi's face on it. That hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal in the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Agreed. It's the one from the uh, the theater. Yeah. Um, it's the rope that was tied to the baton lining on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. Bible thumbs for Ibuki. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. Would you buy this at the supermarket too? But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. 
I think you could buy it from the supermarket, but you wouldn't be able to buy like a noose from a supermarket, so you'd have to pull tie noose. Yeah, that's true. That's also probably not that difficult, though. I guess that's true. I have no idea how to tie noose. Hmm. I'm thinking. I, it doesn't look like it's that difficult, really. Okay. Because like, the main idea is you pretty much have a loop, and then with the other end, it's got to be going through this like center like. Sphere, spherical, not cylindrical part, uh -huh. and then with a bunch of wraps around so that as tension increases, it'll close in on like the two oh, sides. Oh, I see, there, I see. You know, um, so I don't think it's it would be that that difficult, but which means was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means to be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Komida, he's so oh, cheeky. Oh, Komida, <laughs> huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? <laughs> Excuse me, Tsumiki, do you have a moment? Uh, what's happening? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Uh, yes, she had no other external in injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That... It was obvious the moment we discovered the body. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. She, she could have, have been killed and then put in the noose and yeah. hung, right? You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. Komida's like, sure, I'll just appease your stupidity. Yeah, and like, <laughs> I feel like it's like you're supposed to be like, oh wow, Komida, you're so stupid. Like, obviously she hung herself, but right, it's, but like, actually, he's pretty smart here. <laughs> so this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Rope used for hanging, okay. That's good to know. Now, finally. Ibuki's body. Ibuki's body. Girl. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. With blood. With blood. I wonder if this means that blood splatter got on the bottoms of her feet, which wouldn't have been possible if she were standing on the ground. Oh, I see what you're saying. As in, she didn't Simon G's stand. death had to happen after Ibiki was hanging. Uh-huh. So, okay. But That's... I'm wondering if it's like, if those aren't interpreted necessarily to be splashes, but like, she could have gotten that if she was walking through blood. I know, that's the difference. And by looking at like the splatter marks on the feet... It I looks like a splatter, but I don't know if that's like... I would be tempted to say that they're not as like smudged and smeared as they would be if, if she, she was walked walking. In it. That's what I'm tempted to say. Okay. You don't I, have to I feel like we're me. not supposed to read into the splattering as much. Like, the art of, like, how they drew the splatters on the feet as much. I don't know. Remember remember in the first game when we looked at the wounds on Inoshima's body? Oh, I guess that's true. Right? Yeah. How they were drawn? I, I don't know. I wouldn't rule it out. Okay. You okay. don't have to be all on okay. board like I am. But, but the soles of her feet are dirty. No matter how I look at it, it's definitely blood. But there shouldn't be any external entries on Ibuki. If that's the case, then this wouldn't be her blood. It'd be blood belonging to someone else. It's also not necessarily Sionji's. Mm -hmm. It could be the that's killer's true. who was injured in the process. That's true, that's true. Also, just as Kuzuryu said, the estimated time of death was not written in the local file. But even so, the times of death should be clear because I personally saw it. I definitely saw with my own eyes that video of Ibuki's death. But she was climbing that stepladder on her own in that video. If Ibuki died right after that, this can be considered a suicide. Obviously, that's what the killer wants you to think. Yeah. But that should be impossible. I mean, if Ibuki's death was a suicide, then Sayonji's death afterward has no explanation. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I just thought of something, but I realized that that's information that we haven't gotten to yet in the Let's Play, so I'll bring it up in another episode. <laughs> <laughs> As in the next episode? Yeah. Uh, based off information from the, like, the following episode? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay, then let's take a look at... You want to look? Let's look at the control panel, and then we'll take a look at Sion G. Yeah. And there's also actually none on me. Um, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> there's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanging body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw... It had a dim, candlelight ambiance to it, and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? Yeah, I don't know. I see. So you noticed it too, fiend. Huh? Noticed? So you didn't notice. Hm. Are those eyes just little glass balls? 
<laughs> Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. That aberrant item. <laughs> you mean that? That like little bit of paper? Yeah. There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... <laughs> there was no need! Do you uh, remember this? Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Go! <laughs> Go! Mirage Golden Hawk, jump! Now is the time for you to take flight! Hi, 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 hi! <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction. A hamster launched himself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. <laughs> so yes! cute. Oh, it's so cute. Choo choo. <laughs> it started running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Taka. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. <laughs> oh, wow, that's amazing. I have never seen a hamster do tricks. <laughs> They're my four dark days of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. <laughs> so They're cool. so cute. So, what's with that paper? Hmm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed on it. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thank you, Gundam. Hmm, it appears it's nothing useful. It totally is something useful. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if that statement's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is too unnatural. I wonder why it would be stuck up there. Agreed. I'm thinking... I think in like a flash, something had to be torn down. Like a big wall of that Yeah, I'm wondering if instead of like, like a black curtain, it was like a black, like thick paper that was used as a background and then torn oh. down and then that was left up there. Oh, yeah, because if... There had to be some sort of curtain, right? Maybe they um, tied it to the baton lighting, which is why they couldn't use the baton lighting. Gotcha. But then, di like, didn't have enough time to like get to, to like lower the baton lighting down to remove it, so they had to tear it off, and then that's a piece of it was gotcha. left. Gotcha. And there normally isn't a curtain, right? That's why the killer needed to, if they were going to use that paper for theatrics, they needed to also have a curtain there. So yeah, it's not yeah, like, yeah. oh, there was this paper as like a curtain there, and now there isn't one. Yeah, like, yeah. That's pretty important, yeah. right? Okay. That makes sense. Alright, let's um... Chat with Nanami. Let's look at Sayonji's body. Oh my god, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, Sayonji's body Just is because you have the mouse doesn't like... give you all sorts of power, man. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, man. She looks like she was forced to stand upright. Darn it, who did this? Also, her OB is backwards. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Sayonji's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? It might have been difficult to duct tape her to it with like the OB in, in the back. Because it would have like made her stick out a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe, maybe they're hiding something under the OB. That's true. But then why wouldn't they have it in the back? Like, why would hiding it in the front be better? Because maybe it's like a lump in her like kimono or something like that. Oh, that that's on the front covering. and then the bow. Okay. Yeah. But when did the killer kill Sionji? Oh, this is good to know. Yeah. Okay. So the curtain was there. The curtain was. But there. But you can also still see the black paper on the baton yes, lighting. Yes, that's true. When I first discovered Ibu's body, I didn't see Sionji's body there. If that's the case, Sionji was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here, but that was barely 10 minutes, or she was put there. Yeah, during those times, during that time. Is it really possible that the killer killed Sionji and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Probably not. Probably not, but at the same time... Taping her up still would have been... Would um, be pretty time consuming. Yeah. Like, how do you, how do you get a dead body to like stand to, like, upright just and then like upright. also wrap it around, you know? Yeah, and it's like a big pull. It's not like you can like, I don't know, like use one hand to like hold it up and, and then, then like, like have wrap the it other around. hand yeah. like Yeah, you have to around. be like running around it. Right? Yeah. And like you can't be supporting the body to stand upright during that time. Uh huh. So maybe there was more than one person? So like four people involved in this murder? Yeah. Well, 
But maybe, maybe there was an accomplice. And this is like a sign of that. Because the killer must be must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Not necessarily, because we don't have the time. We don't really have the time of everything down. Yeah, yeah. I think they're trying to imply like, oh, Ibuki died first, and then Sayonji died during the time after Hinata, but like that's not necessarily the case. Mm -hmm. Ah, Hinata, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Dang. <laughs> I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? <laughs> If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Sayonji's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Hmm, wait, hold on. Don't tell don't me you want me to search inside Sayonji's kimono. Huh? Uh, that's exactly it. Oh my gosh, go lie <laughs> Reminds me of Kitty Giddy. Yeah. Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Yeah, there, there's a whole nuance on yeah, problems there's that a comes lot of with different her other being problems. dead. <laughs> Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, Owari! <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh, She's like so like intense. Yo, what's up? <laughs> well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Sayonji's kimono, so can you feel around for that? Hmm? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Sayonji's kimono, right? <laughs> Sayonji would totally approve of this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Owari. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let's see. Ori reached through the duct tape, binding Sayonji as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Darn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Uh, oh wait, hold on. What's there? There's something. Is this what you were looking for? Ooh, a key. It's like a key. Is this a key? But what? It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. It could be... The key or to a gun that could increase your energy so oh that you don't god. vanish. <laughs> oh my god, that's an occultic realm. nine reference. <laughs> 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 the key to her motel room, huh? <laughs> if her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Uh, because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono so we notice it easier. Valid point. Yeah. Which means we can conclude this is something Sayonji had with her all along. Okay, that's good to know. Ah, uh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you looked like you were curious about the condition of Sayonji's body, right, Hinata? Of course, that's, that's why I'm investigating. <laughs> it's true there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. Hmm, I mean, I don't see too much odd about it outside of the neck. Yeah. It's almost like they were trying to hide oh, okay. the wound on Sandy's neck, don't you think? Right? Yeah. Hide the wound on her neck? Yeah. Maybe to, like, prevent her from bleeding I mean, it could be to prevent her from bleeding out, but it could also be to make us think that, like, she wasn't killed in that way. But, like, they would have gotten the information from the Monokuma file anyway. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of oh, blood. Oh, then maybe the killer's feet would have gotten bloody, and then that would have been obvious. I feel like if you slit someone's throat, like, unless you're standing behind them as you do it, you're getting covered with blood regardless no of how quickly, like, you throw duct tape on it. Okay. I just think it would maybe minimize the mess you would have to clean up. Okay. Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Okay. Let's nice. talk to Nanami. <laughs> yes, we can talk to okay. Nanami. <laughs> I think the floor is dirty from the smudge that was left after wiping off the blood stain. Mm -hmm. Well, the blood stain isn't strange. Sayonji's neck was slashed not far from here. Mm -hmm. Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Yeah, why did they do that, like, a crappy strange? job of hiding it? Yeah, maybe. Because it like, like it's planned. obvious, like okay, Sayonji died and she got an neck slit, so there would be blood. So why would they try to hide the blood stain? Right. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was accidental. Maybe it was a panic. Yeah, something you know, like that. I, uh, if they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off, right? That's definitely strange. As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? Yeah. 
that is that is a good question. Is there anything else we have to investigate? Uh, I don't think so. Not on the stage, at least. I don't think so. Okay. There should be so many oh, things I need to investigate. Uh, maybe that the thermostat. Oh, the thermostat or the AC control panel. Cool. Yeah. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right. You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue. With this. Right. It yeah. was super hot. Yeah. Why was it super hot? Why was it? I still don't hot? know why. Something to do with um. Oh. Wasn't it um something to potentially hide the time of death? Oh. Because right. um bodies body are, temperatures. Body temperature decreasing as like a function yeah. of time, right? After death. All right, I should mess around with it a little. Like so, it's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Now I know why it's so darn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. Yeah, I think it was there to help mask the times of death, mm -hmm. and that's also why we haven't been told it. Okay, so now we can back up. Do we want to look at the broken machine? Yeah, I don't know if we've looked at it already, to be honest. Same, but the shed remains of machine are spread all over the floor. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Solda put in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? What do you mean? Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. So that's why they destroyed the camera. <laughs> Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Maybe it was their only way of destroying? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, because I think... Do you think someone saw the transmitter and thought something was being transmitted and in rage destroyed it, like Sionji, and then Sionji was killed as a result? But why would she be killed because she destroyed the transmitter? Because she screwed it up? Oh. Imagine killer trying to kill Ibuki uh, in a theatrical way, and Sionji walks though. in, and then like... I mean, the only thing I could... Well... Like, imagine, killer doing theatrics with a dead Ibuki body, and okay. Sionji walks in. And okay. Sionji gets mad and stops the, like, crushes the transmitter, so that like it's not being transmitted, and then gets killed because because she saw the dead, because yeah, she saw the killer, the whole thing. But I mean, I don't know how she would have destroyed it, but like that's just a scenario. Which that's that a scenario, happen. but I don't, I don't really feel very convinced by it. Then what was that thing I saw? Surveillance camera unit has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Have we checked the staff room? Have we? Or the storage room? I don't know. There's a door that says staff only, looks like the inside is a storage room. Might as well investigate in here too. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, and good old Komida. Good old Komida. Good old Komida. Komida, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just want to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it, or is he trying to stand guard here? <laughs> so how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step light on stage, the duct tape binding Sionji. That probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they use for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? No, I'm going to be on Hope's side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of Hope. Yep. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Uh. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. <laughs> By the way, Hinata... I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think it'd be I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. Oh, come on, Hinata. Come. You yeah. don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. <laughs> That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. That's the miserable reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Yeah, I What's feel bad? like the fact that it has to deal with like suicide okay. is like particularly con or oh. like, particularly contrary to hope. Yeah. Right? Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? <laughs> you should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Where exactly hey. are you talking about? Date night. Date night! Date night at the movie theater! Yay! <laughs> After he said that Kumada walked out of my sight. Okay. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? 
Oh, um, take a look at this. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh... That's like the fabric. Yeah, that's, okay. well, the piece of paper, the black piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for storage decorations. Hmm? This thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper. And this edge of the wallpaper. It looks like a little torn, but... It looks a little torn, but what does this mean? I mean, it's just like the paper we saw, right? Yeah. Is there anything else worthy of investigating? Stickers. The stickers. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. So how could those have been used in the... Uh... I mean, were they spread all over the wallpaper before? I don't know. Either. You can see your whole body in this huge full length. It's probably used for checking costumes. With the mirror this big, it'd be easier to check how you look. I guess it's everything important in the storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. I feel like that mirror is going to be important. Yeah. I don't know how yet. Yourself. I can't think of how exactly, but just with theatrics in general, mirrors are really important. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Uh, All right. With this, we might be close to finishing, or close to finished investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Tsumiki. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Okay, cool. All right. So let's chat with Tsumiki, our trained nurse. How about it, Tsumiki? Have you found out anything by now? Ah, uh, to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive! Oh, Tsumiki. But it's not my fault! This music venue is just too hot! Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see, that might have been the killer's goal. Might have, yeah, definitely. So then the killer would have to have that knowledge as well, though, too. That's true. Right? And I don't think that's not exactly common knowledge, right? Right. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any way for them, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? Exactly. Yeah. It's, not, it's probably a, like, non-traditional, yeah. um, like, It's order. not what everyone thinks it is. Right. I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the, um, or as long as I saw it. Mm -hmm. As long as I saw it, it should be clear. Because he saw... Ibuki as long as I before. saw it. That's a, that's a weird phrase to put there, I think. I guess. <laughs> uh, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Sionji. And as long as this is an oh. imitation murder... You're so bad at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm out of practice. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh, you don't know? You don't know, Hinata? I thought everyone already knew. <laughs> giving her so much sass. I love giving sassy anatomy. It's a murder where the creative uses a creative... Ugh. It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film. It's a murder where the creative uses a killer work. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Uh, well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? The assumption is, an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The girl was an imitation killer. Even so, why do they feel the need to do something like that? Excuse me, if this really were an imitation of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? It's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Uh, hold on a sec! Yeah. What are you all talking about? Imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? Are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries. Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. Uh -huh. On this killing school trip, the same black can only kill a maximum of two people. What? Do you mean you've added another one? <laughs> yeah, he's just editing yeah. the game as he goes. Added it? Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the black can will be able to secure an easy victory, right? I think we talked about that before. Yeah, we talked about that a while ago, I think. Yeah. Just like, why not kill everyone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Mm -hmm. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? Yes, you can, but you're gonna have to do that in, in the, the next, next episode. episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the return of Dong Rampa 2. Sorry that this episode was kind of weird like, time weird, lapse. Weird time lapse. I promise it didn't change too much from what like actually happened. Yeah, the first except for that time, one comment I that I made. It. 
What? Except for that one comment I made. <laughs> yeah, but... But it should be fine. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. See where this investigation goes, because... I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's definitely. One. And a lot of you in the comments have been saying this is a pretty tough trial, too, so... Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for the challenge. Yeah. But anyways, until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And this mission is complete.